Today is a very special day, folks, because I have an announcement. This not only impacts me, but this impacts you because you will be contributing to it as a viewer of this channel. I would like to announce the first ever RGT holiday charity scam in which you give me money and then maybe I do something with it. Maybe I end up donating it a few years down the road once interest accrues on it so I can make a little bit. Or maybe I just buy another car with it or some more wrestling figures. I mean, you know, it's right there in the title. You shouldn't look. It's a joke. It's a joke, people. It is a joke. My friends got some of my friends got mad at me on Twitter for my jokes. It looks like that situation was a you know it ended well you know the money got where it needed to go i know there's been a lot of talk about this i was never going to talk about it because i'm not really a wallet watcher or anything like that but you know it is what it is that situation as far as i'm concerned you know we got some sort of resolution with it however you feel about the situation you're allowed to feel but i do want to talk about some charity stuff in this video but before we get into that I just kind of want to talk about the year because the year, you know, um, this will be going up on the 10th. We're pretty much done with 2023, and this hasn't exactly been an ideal year for me. I've obviously had my ups. I've had my downs, but I like having downs sometimes in life because I feel like they can be wake up calls, you know, and obviously back in January, I ended up in the ER for a couple nights, a couple days because my heart was in terrible condition. It was pretty much, you know, dying. Uh, you know, it was at 20% functioning, which 50% and up is considered healthy. So I wasn't in a good place, but I feel like I needed that wake up call to some degree. You know, I needed something to just kind of kick me in the ass and be like, hey, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta change up things here. You can't be eating all this crap all the time. You gotta work out more. You gotta, you know, do this and that. You gotta quit smoking. I quit smoking actually right before that hospital visit. I like to joke to my mom that that's the reason I ended up in the hospital. So I should pick up the cigarettes again. But you know, it was a journey, and it wasn't just you know that hospital stay, and then that was it. There was a lot to it, you know, physically, I was in a horrible place. Mentally, I was in a horrible place. So you got to take care of your physical. You got to take care of your mental. I see a therapist. I, you know, I see doctors and stuff like that. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, there's, there's nothing wrong with admitting, hey, you know, I'm not in a good place right now. I need some help. And really, that's kind of the theme of this video because, you know, you're all, we're all in this life together. And I appreciate all the people who reached out to me. And we're like, you know, thank you for being so open and candid about your issues because it allowed me to realize that, you know, maybe I need to go to the doctor. Maybe I need someone to talk to. And really, that was my whole goal because I'm not a person who who's ashamed of anything in my life. You know, I've made huge mistakes. I've done very stupid things, but I regret nothing. Even, even when I lost opportunities on stuff, whether they were, you know, business opportunities, money opportunities, wasting money on a car that ended up being an absolute lemon. And then I ended up donating it to cars for kids, you know, relationships, uh, you know, all of that sort of stuff. I don't regret anything as good or as bad as that was because it's a learning experience. And I feel like today I am the best version. I am the most successful version of me. And all of those trials and all of those tribulations got me to that point all the mistakes all the stupid things that i did that i wouldn't wish anyone else to do but because i experienced them and that molded me to get me here to this point but like i said i want to talk about charity and stuff like that and no i'm not i'm not asking you for money i don't want to be responsible for any of your money but i do like charities and stuff like that and i kind of want to tell you guys why that is um we're going to talk about two charities in this video that i want you guys to check out and let's get this out of the way first and foremost i understand that people out there are struggling i understand that you might not be able to to donate to a charity this year you're trying to cover your own ass rent is up you know mortgage rates are up uh you gotta buy your family stuff for christmas i totally totally understand that i'm not trying to guilt you into anything i'm just trying to make you aware of certain things and how you can actually make a, a huge impact very close to you so when i was growing up you know my family when i was a kid and like toys were big we weren't we weren't in the best financial position not by far now i had a lot of family members so it definitely felt 
like more. But when I would compare my, you know, what I would get for Christmas to what other kids would get for Christmas at my school, I was always on the smaller end of the stick. I got like one WWF Hasbro. They got five and a ring. I got one X-Men toy. They got, you know, 10 and all this sort of stuff. And it was always like that. But it was because like we just weren't in a, you know, my parents at that time did not have the financial funds to buy me all that stuff. I still appreciated it. But, you know, when you're a kid, you know, looking at stuff like that, it can really be sort of impactful for you. But you've got to realize that there are kids out there who don't get nothing. They don't get nothing. OK, their family can't afford their family is just trying to keep the lights on right now. So Toys for Tots. Is something I always do every year. I don't talk about it on the channel because I don't want virtue signaling points. I want you to think I am a terrible human being because then I could just surprise you. I want your expectations of RGT the human to be as low as humanly possible because that way I can't go any lower. But Toys for Tots is something I do every year. I actually did a um I did I donated some toys and a toy drive to the major wrestling figure podcast which are done with some people I know, um, uh, Matt Cardona, Brian Myers, my buddy Mark Sterling, uh, some other people that are involved with it. I did some stuff with them, donated some toys to them because they had a thing set up. But I always like to go in my community because I understand that there's, you know, imagine going to the store and like seeing a kid who's not going to get anything for Christmas, who's just window shopping or their, you know, their mother is at a store having to pick up some you know, expensive medication. I like to do it because my philosophy in life, and this is different for a lot of people, and I'm not trying to put my philosophy on you, but my philosophy in life is, okay, I need to take care of myself. Once I'm good, I take care of my friends and my family. Once they're good, I take care of my neighbor. Once they're good, I go out under my block. Once they're good, I go out in my neighborhood. Once they're good, I go out in my community. And you know, it's a, it's a constant expanding sort of thing. So I always like to donate directly to the town i live in their toys for tots thing you could do it online you could you don't have to donate toys you could just donate money to which they will use to buy toys and you're literally giving a kid something for christmas that they 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 weren't gonna have and i'm not saying you need to make a huge donation or anything i'm not saying you need to make a donation at all i'm just trying to give you the mental behind it that if you are in a position to do something, even if it's, you know, 10 bucks or something like that, like who cares? That's a toy. That could be two toys for someone, even if it's $5, even if it's a dollar, like it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter the monetary amount. It's the sentiment. It's the, it's the paying it forward. It's the, if you are in a position, you know, to help. And the next thing I like to do every year as uh, my local homeless shelter, because there was a time when I was almost homeless. Now, I don't think my family would have let me get to that, but I don't know if my pride would have gotten in the way. But I was in a, I was living with a couple friends. Um, they both moved out around the same times because they moved on in life and got engaged and stuff, and they wanted to start their own lives. And I couldn't afford the rent on the house that we all had together. So luckily, a friend of mine who happened to still live at home, and this is when I was like 28, 29, 30, um, and they had, you know, his sister's bedroom from from when we were in high school, when we were kids and stuff like that. And his family let me live there for a couple months rent free. No, they didn't have to buy food or nothing. But, you know, I was lucky. I was lucky to have people around me who could help me because there are people in life who don't have that luxury. If, if I didn't have that luxury, I probably would have been homeless for a while. You know, I probably would have been sleeping on couches or, you know, who knows what the situation is. So I always like to give to my local homeless shelter because once again, you know, you could, it, it, people don't realize like how close a lot of people are to being homeless. You get one big bill, you get one big tragic event that costs a lot of money and you know, you could be out on your ass. And I always like to do it locally because these are the people you're going to see. These are the people you're going to see in your town, in your community, at your gas station, at your Walmart and stuff like that. The people out there struggling. So once again, you know, just if you go to Google, and you type in the name of your town and homeless shelter, you'll see something online where you could give a monetary value to it. And it doesn't matter what the amount is. Remember the song, Mr. Wendell by Arrested Development? A dollar means a snack to me, but it makes a big deal to you. Like that's how it is, bro. If it's a fucking dollar, who cares? That is $1 that is going to help people 
who need help who really you know they they need help they need a warm meal they need a warm blanket they need somewhere to sleep and i understand like i said i understand that it's very tough for a lot of people right now financially i completely understand it but if you are in a position to pay it forward pay it forward if you have some free time you can always go down to your local you know homeless shelter and you know help out you know with stuff like that you can you can you know donate a toy at a toy box somewhere like it, 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 a lot of, I feel like a lot of people just get this in their mind that if they don't do something big it's not worth doing but crumbs make crumb cake all right little 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 crumbs make crumb cake so if you can do something i encourage you to do it you know it's a it, it's how life is like you know I'm, I'm a i'm a bitter person who hates everyone and hates everything but even i have a little bit of humanity in me um so yeah um if you made it this far into the video congratulations i'm sure a lot of people clicked off at that initial joke but you know what i don't want those i don't want those people if you, if you can't laugh at something like that i don't i don't want you here you know i that's that's how i handle tragedies i make jokes i i, I joke about it that's why i joke about me you know when i was 16 and ending my life when when i was in the hospital it's a joke you know that's how i that's how i deal with things for better or worse you know depends on who you ask but you know i, I say all this to say there's still going to be videos on the channel but i didn't with with stuff with like these donations they usually do it like to wrap up the donations like a week before christmas so i just wanted to put that out there into the world if you can help help if you can't help you know at least thank you for hearing it out and you know maybe consider you know if things get better for you you happen to see you know you're at a dollar store and you happen to see like a toy that's like a dollar like that can go a long way i can go a long way so i hope all of you have a safe holiday season i'll still be here cranking out the videos but uh, i just wanted to talk about this today so thank you guys thank you guys for supporting me thank you guys for watching my videos because without you guys watching my videos you know i wouldn't be where i am in life so thank you have a safe holiday season, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah. Where are my Hanukkah gifts? I found out a couple years ago I was part Jewish. Still haven't gotten any Hanukkah gifts from my family. Cheap bastards. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.